we are starting with a new chapter that is biomolecules. And first we will understand what exactly we are going to study in this chapter because biomolecules is a wide thing. So we'll have a brief introduction first and then we'll take up individual biomolecules. So what exactly we mean when we use the term biomolecules? The name tells us this. Bio, that is the molecules which are present in the living system. So all cells have various types of molecules. Those could be simple molecules or compounds. So have molecules which perform various functions. And all these molecules which are present in a cell, they are together known as cellular pool. So when we use the word cellular pool, we are talking about all biomolecules which are present in the cell and the ones which are essential for the various functions which take place in the cell. Now these molecules, they can be of two categories. They can be organic molecules or inorganic. Now when we say organic, which all molecules come under this category? We would have proteins, carbohydrates, fats, nucleic acid that is DNA, RNA, amino acids, simple and complicated carbohydrates like even polysaccharides etc. All these would come under organic. Inorganic have minerals, mineral ions normally or salts and water. Now these minerals which are there out of these, 17 minerals are essential in case of plants and 24 are essential in case of animals. Now this we have just simply written it down in, this, uh, in these two categories. But if we have to find out which are those organic substances present, then how do we detect it? How do we find out? The method is very simple. We take a living tissue and grind it in trichloroacetic acid. Trichloroacetic acid. In a pastel and mortar, what we take is any living tissue, add this acid, trichloroacetic acid and grind it. We get a slurry. Once we filter it, we would get two fractions. One which is filtered, which we call the filtrate or technically we can call it acid soluble pool. So for example, what we are doing, we have taken a tissue and in this acid, we grind it to make a slurry. Suppose we filter it. Say this is our test tube and we have placed one funnel and here is cotton and we filter it. What comes here is the filtrate this is the fraction which is known as acid soluble pool. All those substances which dissolve in acid would come here and the upper part that means on this cotton there would be something remaining. This is not the soluble part. This is the part which does not, did not dissolve in acid. So this is known as the acid insoluble pool. So there are two fractions which we have. In acid soluble pool, the substances or the molecules that we get, the molecules have molecular weight of about 18 to 800 Daltons. This is the molecular weight of all those or this is the range of molecular weight in which we have the substances which come into this acid soluble pool. In acid insoluble pool, the molecules have molecular weight more than 10,000 Daltons. More than 10,000 Daltons. So, this is one big difference. There is a difference in molecular weight. 
So all those molecules which have a lesser molecular weight, we will start calling them microbiomolecules and the ones which have more molecular weight, that is 10,000 and above, those would be called biomacromolecules. So this classification of biomolecules into two categories, macro and micromolecules is based on the molecular weight. Now there is an important thing that we need to understand here. The acid insoluble pool, there are four major more, uh, organic substances which we detect in this part. What are those substances? We find proteins, which are macromolecules. We find nucleic acids, that is DNA, RNA, both. DNA and RNA, both are in this particular fraction. Then there are polysaccharides, that is cellulose or chitin or glycogen, those substances. And there is lipid, that is fat. Now fats, or lipids have a molecular weight of 800 daltons. This is an important thing. Lipids have molecular weight of 800 daltons. Now, if the molecular weight is 800 daltons, then they should be or they should have been in this compound or in this fraction that is acid soluble. Acid soluble pool has all those biomolecules which come in the category of 18 to 1000 or 800 Or uh, In some books it is 1000 also given. So 18 to 1000. Lipids have molecular weight of 800 daltons. So technically or just by looking at this, they should be present in acid soluble pool. But lipids are found in acid insoluble pool. Now the reason is when we grind a living tissue in this acid in a pastel and mortar, the lipid part in a cell is normally in some membranes or in some structure. So when we grind it, it changes into vesicles and these vesicles are insoluble in water. And when we are grinding it in an acid, the acid also has water because we are taking dilute acid. So this vesicle, which is predominantly the lipid part, does not dissolve in this acid. So because they are not dissolving in acid or water part of the acid, they remain in the acid insoluble pool. But according to their molecular weight, we are going to keep lipids under micromolecules though they are found in acid insoluble pool which predominantly has macromolecules. So our classification on the basis of molecular weight, macromolecules and micromolecules. The category or the criteria is molecular weight. Here 1000 or more. 10,000 or more and in this what are the molecules that we have? We have proteins, DNA, RNA and polysaccharides and these fraction or these molecules are found in acid insoluble pool. Micromolecules include amino acids, monosaccharides that is simple sugars, nucleotides, these are micromolecules and if we do this experiment we would find them in this fraction that is acid insoluble pool and in macromolecules we will also put lipids because here the criteria of division is the molecular weight. So according to molecular weight, the lipids come in the category of micromolecules. But separation wise, they come or they get separated along with macromolecules. The reason is the lipid part is the component of membrane and during, during this experiment, 
they form vesicles and these vesicles are insoluble in water component of the acid so this a uh, normally students have a confusion that when they are found with the macromolecules why do we suddenly shift them into micromolecule category this classification is according to the molecular weight and here they get separated along with macromolecules because of the their nature that is hydrophobic nature they don't dissolve in water and that is why they get separated along with the other macromolecules but they are micromolecules so lipids have molecular weight 800 daltons approximately and are microbiomolecules so they come in the category of micromolecules now when we classify these biomolecules we actually take up this classification so all the molecules that we have to study we would study carbohydrates proteins fats nucleic acids minerals all these things but in most of the books the description which is given is suppose we take the example of carbohydrate micromolecules that is carbohydrate monosaccharide disaccharide oligosaccharide then they will come to proteins micromolecule that is amino acid but the way we are going to do it is we take one major substance that is carbohydrate we will take micromolecules that is monosaccharide disaccharide oligo and then we will continue with the polysaccharide so that all carbohydrates we would study together so in the next segment we will start with actual biomolecules and we will start with carbohydrates.